Hi everyone and welcome back to Cornwall Car Care. So this week we were supposed to have a brand new Mini coming in for a new car protection package. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the dealership found a scratch on the bonnet, so it went off to be painted. Customer got the vehicle back, customer wasn't happy with it, so it's going back in to be rectified. Um, so this BMW 335D in San Marino blue has filled the gap and what a color like i think this is one of my favorite colors um so this is booked in for a dual stage enhancement to remove the swells and scratches in the paintwork and there's quite a few on this one uh wheels off glass trim interior is very tidy engine bay but yeah what a color look at that and it's not even polished yet. But yeah, you can see the swells that we've got and there around my light on that top part, there are some deeper scratches there where you can just see them on the black, see them on the, those, oh. If you look over there, you just see the deep one. So we've got those to tackle, and I think there's some further down as well. Um, yeah, you can see all the swells and scratches there. So they are hiding all the gloss and clarity in the paintwork. What are the gloss pillars like? And there's a few, a few deep ones in there but they should come up very nice. There we go, you can see them all, all across there. So there are some deeper ones dotted in there, but there's also a, a lot of fine, fine swells. Oh yeah, you can see them all across the bonnet. See them all moving. Some of that will be a little bit of clay marring. Some deeper ones on that wing. Definitely got some deeper marks down here. And on the back, oh yeah, look at all those. So we get all of those cleared up. And the rear lights, what are they like? Yeah, they need a good polishing. So we're gonna get on, do the paint depth measurements tape up everything and then get polishing. I cannot wait for the results on this one. Oh, wow. Uh, and get well soon as well, mother. She's in hospital at the moment, so get well soon and I'll speak to you later on.
So I am now working my way down the driver's side. Um, the way that I work it is... Get that off of there. So there's lots of intricate areas, especially on BMWs as well. So I just unplugged me hybrid nano. Um, so yeah, so under this little lip here, a three inch pad does not get into the gap. Um, so this is where a one inch pad all along there, around the handle, the actual handle itself. We've got another one up here, top lip, bottom lip. So that'll all be done with the one inch. And then we've got the three inch pad, which will do around the perimeters. And then we have the five inch pad which is gonna do the bulk of here. So you can already see that I've done all my edges first. Um, hopefully that side, you can see some polish there. Um, so now, yeah, we're gonna get on to the five inch. Uh, Geon Compound Plus for this one. Really liking that at the moment. It's, it's strong enough that it's taken out the scratches but it's not harsh enough that it's leaving lots of damage behind because obviously this is gonna have to be refined afterwards. Um, there's a little bit of marring, micro marring, but not a lot. Um, this is gonna look awesome when it's finished. So yeah, so today, well, I'm gonna get the door done. I think it's time. What were we, eight o'clock? Um, I had a busy, busy day balloting yesterday and I'm knackered. So yeah, I'm gonna get this door cut, um, and then that leaves me rear door, rear quarter, back end, and the black trim work to do tomorrow morning when I come in. Oh, and the side skirt. Yeah, so I shall catch back in the morning. Five o'clock on Tuesday afternoon. The cutting has now been completed. It is now finished. It took a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, there were some areas with sanding marks um, and I had to sort those out. I couldn't leave them. So yeah, that had multiple cuts to get rid of those. I can't believe how well it looks now and it's still got micro marring in it. Uh, so it's only gonna get more glossier than that. Um, so I'm just gonna have a good tidy up, wipe everything down, hoover the floor, uh, and then we'll make a start on the refinement process, sorry, which is, we're gonna be using Geon Primer for that one. Uh, tomorrow morning, the wheels are gonna be going outside, getting a wash. Uh, they'll be coated tomorrow, paintwork will be coated tomorrow, glass will be coated tomorrow. So yeah, so another busy, busy day tomorrow. See you in the morning.
Well, that is all the polishing finally complete. Um, I had to finish off all the gloss black on it this morning. Uh, so that's all been done. I've been out the front. The wheels have all been washed, decontaminated. So they're going to come in in a bit, and get ready for coatings, and they're going to have wax is dead heat. Um, paint coating for the BMW. Dum 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 dum. This one is going to have ISM Kamikaze. So yeah, so one more final wipe down with Gion Prep and then let's get the coating on. Kamikaze ISM 3.0 down. So that is the paintwork completed. I'm gonna go and stop and have some food because I'm starving. Uh, what have we got next? I think I'm gonna do the wheels next, then the glass, then the trim, calipers, then I can get the wheels back on. And yeah, we're not far off. Well, I say we're not far off, there's still quite a lot of work to do. <laughs> oh, look at it! That is amazing. I hope that's coming across on camera, how good that looks in person. Right, let's go and get some food and get on with the wheels. Wheels coated. Calipers coated, arches dressed, wheels back on. They will get torqued up when it goes back down on the floor. Um, windows done, paintwork done. Oh, what a day. So, one of the last things I'm gonna do today, well, two of the last things, one is polish the exhaust, and two is It's not going to focus. Gion trim. Uh, we've got rear balance, side skirts, front balance and front grille and spoiler. So yeah, we're going to get on and do that now. Do the exhaust and then I'm going to go home. How much better does that look? 
Right, let's get on and do a bit more. Welcome to the end of day four on the BMW 335D in San Marino blue. What a colour. It looks absolutely stunning. I want something in this colour. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. So this was a dual stage enhancement. One cut, one refine, um, to remove swells and scratches, bring out the gloss in the paintwork. This was finished off with Kamikaze ISM 2.0 for the protection. Um, it was supposed to be a mini this week and unfortunately there was a paintwork issue for a new car prep. So that has gone back to the dealers. This customer jumped forward. So I've done a couple of extras for him. Just to say thank you for jumping in. Um, took the wheels off, coated them inside and out. But, oh, wow, 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 wow. Have a look at this. Do you remember the, the gloss black pillars as well? How bad they were? You would have seen that earlier in the video. You can't get much more glossy than this. I am thrilled to bits of how this one turned out. Uh, the paint responded really, really well. I know Estral Blue tends to be a really hard paint to work with, um, and some of the white BMWs as well. But this responded so good, I was able to get it to this level from a dual stage rather than a, a minor correction or a full correction. Oh, I want something in this blue. I want something in this blue. Right, BMW 335D in San Marino blue completed. Let's roll some afters. <laughs> 